Well, Franny has some ideas on how to make the world a better place, and as always, I'm here to tell you exactly why she's a fucking idiot. Let's get into it. Hey, friends. We're not friends, Franny. You don't even follow me on Twitter. So I'm trying something different with my setup, and I don't know if it's working, but you will deal. What if I don't want to deal, Franny? What if I want to make a video on five ways you could make a better video because the way you make videos is harmful to my community? That would be unwarranted whinging, wouldn't it? Huh. <laughs> Imagine your friend is building a house and they ask you to help. Never done that before, so I'm a pretty poor choice to help build a house. Bit of a stupid fucking thing to ask of me, really. My friend is an idiot. But you've never built a house before. That's what I'm saying, Franny. Why the fuck would I get asked to help? I appreciate it's an analogy and all, but it's a shit one. You might as well have said, so you're walking on the surface of the sun. It's just not a believable situation for me. So it'd probably be a good idea for you to put on some protective gear and listen to the person in charge. Otherwise, someone's going to get seriously hurt. Or maybe I could hang back and make the tea for all the experienced builders. They need tea, Franny, and I have plenty of experience in that field. Look, I'm helping! Hey, Franny, if you really want to help, take off the hard hat before you do that. It's the exact same idea when it comes to being an ally. Oh, of course! You don't really want to build a house because that would actually be helping people. Yep. It's all slotting into place now, Franny. An ally is a person that wants to fight for the equality of a marginalized group that they're not a part of. It's anyone who teams up with someone else, actually. The word has existed for longer than your petty little grievances, Franny, like in wars and shit. We need your help building this house, but you probably should listen so you know what to do first. So in this analogy, you see yourself as the foreman, don't you? The guy who's in charge of who builds what. Whereas in actual fact, you're sat on the sidelines putting the bricks into different different groups. Let's do this. So here are my five tips for being a good ally. Sorry, how many? Five. <laughs> Understand your privilege. We can't get very far without using that word, can we? Without it, you'd be talking about four tips to being an ally, and no one cares about that. Five is the threshold. Now, a lot of people get hung up on the word privilege. Yeah, they do, don't they? Mostly social justice warriors, though. They can't do anything without looking up a fucking definition. So let me break it down for you nice and easy. Privilege does not mean that you are rich. It can mean that. That you've had an easy life. It can mean that, too. That everything's been handed to you and you've never had to struggle or work hard. It can totally mean that. Are you reading the kind of dictionary only morons can understand? All it means is that there are some things in life that you will not experience or ever have to think about just because of who you are. Okay, that's an interesting outlook. That does mean absolutely everyone is privileged though, doesn't it? I mean, I'm sure I'll never have a period, at least I hope not, but at the same time, a woman doesn't have to worry about sitting on her balls. So it levels out. Everyone has privilege if we're going by Franny's definition, which we will only do for the course of this video and then it's back to normal. It's kind of like those horses that have those blinders on. Franny, out of these two pictures, I would feed the sugar cube to you. They can see just fine. There's just a whole bunch of stuff on the side that they don't even know exists. Is there any chance of getting these made for SJWs? I'm just saying, it would solve a lot of your problems. So for example, there are currently 29 states where you can legally be fired for being gay. That's... that's pretty messed up. Actually, no argument here. Unless gay people are like constantly late for work just out of principle or something. Like Jenkins, you were supposed to be here 45 minutes ago. I can't help it boss, it's my sexuality. Even then I'm sure there'd be some concessions for it, like prayer breaks for Muslims. But no, that, that is pretty messed up. And there are 34 states where you can legally be fired for being trans. That's just because no one wants Riley Dennis working in their office. I think even other trans people are alright with that, they totally get it. Thanks for taking one for the team, guys. Now, as a straight cis woman, those are things that I don't have to ever think about if I don't want to. Have you ever tried to not think of something, though, Franny? It's impossible, love. You say don't think of a pink elephant, and you think of a pink elephant. You say don't think of sexy clowns, you think of sexy clowns. And everyone worries about getting fired from their job, gay or straight, trans or 
not trans, unless you're rich enough to not have to work. But that's actually privileged, not whatever it is we're harping on about now. I'm not gonna be fired because I'm straight and I'm not gonna be fired because I'm cis. What if you're the spokesperson for an LGBT group? Can you get fired for being straight and cis then? I haven't got any proof, but, but I think you can. I mean, that sounds about right, doesn't it? Shit, now I'm worried I won't achieve my dream of leading Black Lives Matter because not only am I white, but I'm also not a hate mongering racist. Fucking privilege. So it makes sense that before I can fight for the rights of others, Franny, I don't think any of this counts as fighting for people's rights. You're more like a televised preacher. I have to understand what rights I have and others don't. That's privilege. So what rights do I have that no one else has, Franny? When we are living in such a time as you can get suspended from university or fired from your job for holding certain political views that don't align with the ridiculously liberal narrative, what privileges do I have? Listen and do your homework. Oh, so we're not actually going to say what rights some people have and others don't then? You guys never do. You just say it and move on. You can't count the trans stroke gay people can be fired in blah 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 many states because I'll wager that's just an old law that doesn't really get held up anymore because it would be all over the front page any fucking time it happened. I mean, have you seen the state of mainstream media? It would be everywhere. There would be marches organised, signs painted, people would start knitting special hats. When such an uproar is caused by a catering company refusing the custom of a lesbian couple for their wedding, you can bet your lefty we would hear about someone getting canned because of their sexuality. In fact, someone could probably say it without any tangible proof and the media would still run with it. Now that's privilege. It sounds like a no-brainer, but it's not possible for you to learn if you aren't willing to listen. Which is why deaf people make such shit allies. They would be triggered right now, but they haven't got a clue what Franny just said, unless they are particularly adept at reading lips, in which case they don't know what I'm saying right now. Ha ha ha, deaf bastards. So you gotta know when to zip up the lipper. I don't know. You get what I mean. Yes, yes, because we like to elevate ourselves over others on the basis of who is most oppressed, because as we all know, it's a contest. I hate people like that. Like when you see a friend in the street and you're like, all right, mate, how are you? And they give it all, oh, my back's killing me and I've never got any money and my mum keeps going on at me to stop leaving cups in my room. That's not what how are you means, Karen. You know this. Just say I'm fine, thank you, and move on. But that's the thing that's so cool about social media. There are so many people. Well done, Franny. Because without the people, it would just be media, wouldn't it? Sharing their stories all around the world and connecting with people that they normally would never get a chance to without the power of the internet. Yet yeah, social media is fine, Franny, but it has given anecdotal evidence much more credence than it should actually have, as well as allowing the dreaded fake news a place to thrive and feed off of people's stupidity. That's the thing. People's experiences aren't always genuine because people lie, Franny. Just like we always have, except now we can do it to millions of people at once. What a time to be alive. So do your homework. Start reading blogs, tweets, news articles. Yeah, news articles are cool, though it is getting increasingly dodgy to get your news from one single source. Blogs are not so reliable unless they're properly informed and researched, so yeah, they can be chancy. And tweets. Seriously, tweets? How can you get a decent view on current events when it's summed up in 140 characters? Don't get me wrong, it's great for seeing photos of Shoe on Head's bunny and the occasional JPEG of interracial gay porn if you follow Sargon of Akkad, but news? Fuck no! And stories so that you can get caught up on the issues that are important to the communities that you want to support. And fuck the rest of them, right? What's that? Bombs are being dropped in Syria? Well, fuck. I don't want to read about that because BuzzFeed has just tweeted about Ryan Gosling eating his twin brother while still in the womb. Speak up but not over. If the fight for equality was a girl group, then it would be even less tolerable than it is right now. The ally wouldn't be the lead singer or the second lead singer. You only get one lead singer, Franny. If there's two of them, there's no lead. It's just two people singing. They'd be Michelle. What, Obama? Who are these people? An ally's job is to support. You want to make sure that you use your privilege and your voice to educate others. Oh, yeah, because everyone loves someone trying to educate them, don't they? You know what might help your movement, Franny? 
if you lot weren't so fucking condescending. How you're hoping to recruit more people to your cause by telling them their opinions are wrong, I'll never know. But make sure to do it in such a way that does not speak over the community members that you're trying to support or take credit for things that they are already saying. Taking credit is a bigger fucking deal than solving the actual issue, isn't it? Most people wouldn't give a shit as long as the problem is voiced and addressed, but no. You guys want the fucking credits to roll like at the end of a film. And God forbid one of your allies would make a good point when they have the audacity to not be black or female or trans or who. It's almost like you want to complain about the issues instead of solving them. This isn't Mario Kart. Stay in your lane. Realize that you're gonna make mistakes and apologize when you do. Well then why has no one apologized for Lacey Green existing yet? Nobody's perfect. I think you'll find Premiership footballer Zlatan Ibrahimovic actually is. Unlearning problematic things takes time and work, so you are bound to mess up and trip and fall. No oh, God. Oh, fucking unlearning. Look, the human race is still here, so I think our methods up to this point have been pretty successful. You know, if you put this much effort into actually furthering our race instead of trying to modify it, you might find more people get on board with what you're trying to say. But until then, Franny, stay down. Just like your attempt at humour, you fell flat on your face. But don't worry, you can brush yourself off and get right back up. I'm back up! Oh, fucking hell, this must be driving the gravity deniers mad. Just remember that it's not about your intent, it's about your impact. Well, fucking hell, switch those two words around and you will be a lot happier, Franny. So when you get called out, make sure to listen, apologize, commit to changing your behavior, and move forward. Well, fuck all that, just keep moving forward. I'm not stopping to apologize for someone's fee-fees getting hurt. I'd only apologize if I hit you with a car, but I still wouldn't stop moving forward. I'd just shout it out the window as I hammer it down the road. Last but certainly not least, actually the most important thing on this list. Oh, here comes some fuckery then. Is remember that ally is a verb. It is also a noun. I think looking up the word ally was me officially doing more research than you did into this. Saying you're an ally is not enough. You gotta do the work. But I don't want to do the work, Franny. I'll get no benefit from it. Chances are, I won't even get laid. You're the group who wants to make intricate changes to the human psyche, so you put the fucking hours in. If it doesn't involve pasting my face onto someone else's video whilst coming up with a veritable smorgasbord of insults, I'm out, you fucking dick farmer. One through four. One through four. As always, there are links in the video description box to some of the things I mentioned in this video. Well, that is exciting to hear. Next time I can't sleep, I'll give them a go. Along with some resources that have been really helpful for me as I've gone along in my journey to be more conscious. Any chance one of those links takes me to a website which just says, you're wrong. This was meant to be a video on how to be an ally, not how to be insig fucking nificant. If I want to be an ally, the one thing I have to unlearn is that equality-wise, everything's fucking fine. At least it is on my end. It seems to be the liberal groups which are more racist and sexist than ever to the point of fascism. But if you try and say that, you will get shouted down because they love censorship too. Thanks for watching guys and remember, being an ally is as easy as shutting the fuck up.